Hello everyone, let's get ready to rumble! Please welcome the Sandman! From ECW, 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 ECW. Alrighty then, let's get into this. Just a really quick review of Mattel's Sandman from, as you can see, ECW, that, uh, I guess Mattel's putting with their WWE guys. It's it's all fine. I got the, uh, I guess you could call it a Chase exclusive from Ringside. I kind of wanted the other one with the other uh, pants, but this one's fine. Um, it doesn't really matter to me, honestly. Uh, one thing I'll point out, someone called these like Shacknotics or something like that, or maybe I heard wrong, or maybe they're the Shacknosis, but I think this is more closely to the Shack Attacks uh sneakers those old school ones from uh 95 and up i guess if that's the gnosis but anyways getting on a tangent but this figure looks great he looks great great likeness Here, let's take that in mean mug nice really nice job they did a really nice job with him he feels awesome like really I've been getting so surprised with figures lately from all different companies and lines, and yeah, he feels real, real quality. There's a t-shirt there, the barbed wire, which <laughs> I'll, I'll get back to that. I'll get back to it. It's really, really cool. Cloth good shirt there. Uh, pinless arms, but pinned legs, which is so annoying. This is why me collecting wrestlers and stuff like that is... Uh, has an end date, has an expiration on it. It's thin it, I guess you could say. I mean, they did a good job on it, but it's just like, they don't show this on purpose and you got to be like a detective to, you know, bring out your magnifying glass and see, you know, in the promo pics if they have pins or not. And uh, I got to double check, but I'm pretty sure I couldn't really tell, you know, and you can't really tell on some parts, mostly on the blue, not really on the red too much. On this side is a little worse, but on the, in there, in there is not too bad. Out there is a little bad, but yeah, and the sneakers came out really, really well. I like that a lot, all the jargon on the bottom. I wish it was the actual detail, the bottom of the shoe. That would have been cool. Now, oh, it's got some scuffs on there. Now, if they really are... Shack Gnosis or Shack Attacks, rather. Uh, I'm surprised they're able to do that. I mean, is it? It's really close to it. I had to double check, and uh, yeah, I'm surprised they would pay for that. That likeness, uh, that shoe likeness. I feel like that'd be expensive, but it is from long ago, and this is what he used to wear. So it is accurate. I mean, really cool that they're able to do that. I mean, they're not able to do that with some tattoos and licensing and things like that. So that's cool that they're able to include that. Okay. Now the barbed wire, you may be mad at me, but I don't really want to take this off because I, I thought it was like one piece and you kind of just take that off and that just slides off. But no, they did such a good job that you see that in there. This is all like, here, I'll do it a little bit so you can see. This is all, it's like all wrapped around him. Like, I really <laughs> don't want to do that. So I'll kind of take off his shirt uh, to show you underneath. But yeah, that's going to be, it's going to be such a pain. And I'm terrible, awful at putting stuff back, like, the way it should, like it was in the box and stuff like that. Maybe I should have gotten two of these, darn it. But I didn't think it'd be like that. I mean, that's a pleasant surprise. It's a good surprise. That's really awesome. You can use this. The accessories with this guy, you can use, I mean, if you don't even know who he is, you can use him as a background character, a bouncer, a wrestler in your 112 world, just anything. And he does have the shirt underneath there, the uh, tank top. So that looks really cool. And he's got the old school articulation in there, which is another bummer. But that's what you get with elite level Mattel WWE figures. But yeah, uh, let's go into his, uh, I guess, articulation and then we'll, the rest of his accessories. So, I mean, head gets plenty of expression. I mean, that's really good. Down. Uh, well, he's moving his chest. I don't want to cheat and do it. Just the head. Uh, up's not bad. Not bad. Not bad at all. Yeah. Definitely. I mean, he gets the turn. 
side to side. Definitely a good amount of expression. Yeah, this is surprisingly well done. I don't, I mean, he doesn't have butterflies as we saw, but he does have the bicep cut, which could go all around. Nicely done with the, the joint in there. The arm, if I could focus, there we go. As I said, pinless, double joint. It doesn't get too deep, but human, realistic human levels, I'd say. Because again, you can't touch your own wrist to that side of your shoulder. You could go ahead and try, but good luck. Don't hurt yourself. Um, sw hand swivel, which just with all toy lines, is just getting a little, they got to place that a little lower somewhere because it just looks like, it reminds me of Transformers almost, like they have a tire in his hand. You know what I mean? Like tr how a Transformer would be. But despite with everything on, see another reason why I like to keep everything on figures and then articulate them, because of course, if you strip them down to their underwear, they're going to move well, like anyone else would. You're going to be a lot limber, a lot more limber naked than you would wearing like a three-piece suit or a dress or whatever, just layers of clothing. But back of course is always better than the front with figures for some reason the front i mean he, he is getting movement but it's not really a deep cut at all and then I don't, he doesn't have any lower he's got a lower twist in there and you can see how the pants go all the way up like that but uh geez i'm ruining it uh, i think that's gonna be stuck like that i don't want to look sloppy for the rest of this review so I fumble around in here. But you see what I'm saying? How it would just be so, such a pain to <laughs> take all that off. But it's got a good twist despite all the, uh, oh no, did that break off? Is that the other half of it? Oh no. Now I could just go in there like that. Okay, good. Get that a little bit more nicely distributed. Okay. Leg kicks up. Not bad, the joints in there. Oh, is that, it looks like, is that something new? It looks like pins. I'm not too sure if that's new, new, but that's a design I'm unfamiliar with. It looks like a pin into like a, it's almost like the arm, uh, like the shoulder joint. Interesting. Feels good. How does he kick? up well as he kicked back uh, no his butt gets in the way but double double jointed knees of course the awful pins that should never see the light of day in action figure world in 2024 that's why i don't collect really mcfarland's and like i said mattel's gonna be even like no we'll switch next year it's like two i'm not like rebuying all these figures again and i'll wait a little bit for some but if they don't look good we a twist down does he get i mean i've i had shack gnosis back in 1995 i was in seventh grade i remember walking in oh man with those shoes the shack gnosis shack gnosis uh yeah i remember uh one of my friends even bowed down and like kissed his hand and, and had a kiss and put it on the shoe and just had to like rub it for luck like the whole the whole class the whole side of the room where you walk in to the class uh, was like, ah, you felt, that was the one time, the one time I felt like the man walking in with a sweet pair of sneakers, man. I got, I had my one day and one day in the sun <laughs> and half the class like, oh man, just over my pair of sneakers. Felt blast. Shaq was my favorite, uh, is my favorite basketball player. I was a fan of Jordan, but I'm digressing here. Great articulation. Let's get into his accessories. He comes with really good accessories. He comes with two of these more open hands and two um, tighter gripping hands. For one, for the kendo stick, which is nothing new, but it's new for me. I don't have one of these yet, which is really, <laughs> really cool. And if you've been watching like WWE lately, they've been breaking these out nonstop, nonstop. So. Happy to add one of those to with the collection with the awesome figure. And of course he comes with four, four, one, two, three, four. Here, get back over here. Of these cans, which is excellent. Excellent. That's what I want to see for like a 
23 to $24 figure. I want to see accessories nonstop. I mean, nondescript cans, but they are really detailed, cool looking cans not, uh, nonetheless. I like that a lot. You know, it's good articulation to bring up to his head. You know what I'm saying? Give him the stone cold in case your stone cold is missing them. Beautiful articulation with the kendo stick. Yeah, really happy with this. Man, his arms like feel so good. Like the plastic on him feels so good. I can't get over it. I guess I've been touching mediocre plastic, great plastic here and there plastic. It's usually, it's not usually hit and miss. It's usually all pretty good, but all right, let's get his, uh, his cans are rolling all over the place now. Let's get into some quick comparisons and let's get going here. All right, let's get in a couple of elites. Let's get in the Undertaker. Get him in there, which cheesy towers. He just towers. I mean, I guess that's good. I guess that's proper. Let's get in a ultimate Roman Reigns with the new head sculpt on there. Let's uh, switch him out. Let's get in another elite female, Bailey. Let's get Undertaker out of there. And let's get, uh, let's move into basics. Ludwig Kaiser. Which I like the basics too, which are basically half the price of an elite if you're unaware which is really really cool here's another here's a basic female maxine dupree put her over there she doesn't really stand though so and just two more uh from other brands here's jada street fighter keen and uh let's get on a marvel legend warbird just so you get an idea of scale, like I was saying, you can throw in this guy to your other lines. Marvel Legends works as a male. Marvel Legends works with Mezcos and not really NECA or McFarlane because they're a little, uh, they're not really 112 scale. They say that, but a lot of companies say they're either too small or too big and they're definitely the, the seven inch scale line. But yeah, definitely enjoying this figure. Going to be uh, reviewing, do a couple of quick reviews for uh, a couple more wrestling figures. And not WWE, obviously, ECW. We got, uh, man, there's so many of them out there. It gets crazy. It's like WWF, WWE, WCW, NWO, ECW, TNA, AEW. Let's go. <laughs> Until next time. Whoop.